ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂಕರಾಚಾರಿಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರಿಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂ
Kartaram Atmanam Kevalam Tu Iti Kevala Shabda Prayogat. How is it that you say is not a Karta? It has been said Kevalam Atmanam Kartaram. So Kevala Shabda Prayogat. The Puro Pakshi is saying this Kevala Atma is Karta. Because what was said there in the 16th verse, if you revisit. Kartaram Atmanam Kevalam to Yaha Akrata Buddhitwat Pashati Sahana Pashati. Now, why is it said that Kevala is there? Kevala Atma Kevala Shuddha. How is it that it is said Kevala Shabda Prayoga Kartaram Atmanam Kevalam to Iti Kevala Shabda Prayoga Atma Karoti Eva? So, there the Kevala word. Is misunderstood by the Puro Pakshi. Naisha Dosha says Bhagavan Bhashyakara answers by saying there is a misinterpretation. It is not the Atma is Karta. Kevalam Atmanam Nakaroti. Whereas what is meant? Puro Pakshi is saying Kevala Atma does not do is alright. But Kevalam Atmanam Kartaram, one who considers Kevala Atma as Karta is mistaken, is all right. But then your interpretation that Atma is not a Karta, that is not right, says the Puro Pakshi, because he says Kevala Atma is not a Karta, but Atma along with Adishthana is Karta. Thereby, Kevala Atma you will set aside. Kevala Shabda Prayogat, Kevala Atma is not an actor but along with something else atma becomes an actor so atma along with adhisthana meaning sharira ityadi which sharira sambandha after being born as sharira which sharira and stula and sukshma sharira association atma becomes a karta that is the meaning in the 16th verse so there Kevala Shabda being misunderstood is explained by Bhagavan Bhashyakara by saying Naisha Doshaha Atmanaha Avikriya Sohavatve Adishthana Divihi Samhatatvanu Bhavatte If you think that Kevala Atma is not the subject, not the Karta, but along with Adishthana, Sharira Ityadi is a Karta, then that is a mistake. Why? Because even when associated, so to say associated with Adishthana, meaning Sambhuya, even if Atma with the G, with the Sharira is said to be Jivatma, that Jivatma is also not the Karta. Because Atma is Avikriya, meaning has avikriya as its very swabhava. So that atmana avikriya swabhavatve adhisthana adhibihi samhatatvanu pupattehe. There is no possibility also that even while being present in the adhisthana sthule sharira, even when there being sukshma sharira, which is a karana, still atma is not a karta because the Sammandha is Adhyasa Sammandha, Adhyasika Sammandha. The Tadatmya Sammandha which you consider as association, that is Adhyasika Sammandha, there is no real association possible. Where is the association possible? Where there is Savayavattvam, where there are parts, one entity with parts mixes with another entity with parts. Just like you know, molecular structure forms, even at that level, molecular structure also. How do you find it? You see that there is interchange of atoms. So they lend each other parts of one, you know, they lend each other's parts to one another mutually, and then the parts connect with each other. So the atomic structure is like that. But Atma is partless. So even at any subtle level, minutest level, also you cannot look at parts. Atma is not minute. Atma is neither big nor small. It has no parts. So there is no possibility 
of anatma parts such as adisthana ityadi to connect with the atma parts of atma sharira may have parts sharira does have parts but atma does not have parts therefore there cannot be a real sambandha it is an adhyasika sambandha and what is adhyasa atasmin tad buddhihi it isn't so in non association seeing association that is also adhyasa therefore this samha tattva anubhavati hi sanyoga anubhavati hi in simpler words there is no possibility of atma which is avikriya swabhava never undergoes any change that kind of atma cannot have sambandha with savikriya adisthana ityadi विक्रियावतो ही अन्यही संहननम संभवति वेयर इज एसोसिएशन पॉसिबल बिटवीन द विक्रियावान्स दोस व्हिच हैव विक्रियास देयर अलोन संबंध इज पॉसिबल समत्यवा कर्तृत्वम स्यात एंड हैविंग एसोसिएटेड हैविंग जॉइंड संहनन इज जॉइनिंग सो समत्यवा कर्तृत्वम स्यात in this case nasyat ityartha it is not possible that atma can have any joining association with anatma anything adisthana ityadi because atma is avikriya has no kriyas natu avikriya se atma na kenachit samhananam asti iti na sambhuya kartrutvam upapadyate therefore the association that you talk about is not possible for atma that kevalatvam will always remain so if you say keval atma is not a karta you agree but along with sharira atma is a karta atma cannot be a karta even along with sharira traya because atma is always kevala even when seen having an association never has an association अतः केवल आत्मन स्वाभाविक अनुवाद वॉट इज दिस केवल शब्द केवल शब्द केवल आत्मा डज नॉट मीन देर इज नॉन केवल आत्मा केवल आत्मा इज शोइंग दैट आत्मा इज ऑलवेज केवल नेवर डज आत्मा हैव एनीथिंग एल्स along with it because everything else borrows its satta from atma other than atma nothing exists that's also another reason that you can look at but here it is said kevalatvam atmanah swabhavikam iti kevala shabda anuvada matram why kevala shabda has been used already know you already know that atma is kevala even the puro pakshi bhagwan bhashyakar says you know that kevala atma is shuddha atma therefore you know that atma is shuddha then when shruti talks about it or smriti talks about it it is anuvada matra anuvada is just a restatement restatement of a fact that you already know so there is no importance to be given to kevala shabda and you don't need to over analyze it as to why kevala shabda has been said you already know and where is it prasiddha anuvada matra if it is anuvada restatement then where is the statement how is it a statement earlier due to which there is a restatement here you consider this as a restatement so statement meaning it is prasiddha avikriyatvam cha atmana shruti smriti nyaya prasiddham shruti talks about avikriya atma smriti talks about avikriya atma nyaya nyaya shastra logically also it is avikriya atma then at the end of the gita shastra 18th chapter why do you bring this up as kevala atma it is anuvada matra you already know this so here we need not think that kevala meaning there is non kevala atma also avikaryo ayam uchyate gunai reva karmani kriyante sharirastho bina karoti ityadi asakrut upapalcham gita su eva tavat so we are at the end of the journey in the 18 chapters 
so where is it stated if you ask then look up he says avikriya ayam uchyate ayam atma avikriya uchyate so this this statement is there in the second chapter then the third chapter then the 13th chapter so through and through there is a mention of avikriyatva of atma meaning atma being kevala is talked about through and through in the gita shastra itself avyaktoyam achintyoyam avikaryoyam uchyate tasmadevam viditvainam nanu shochitam arhasi so this shoka is is improper is not called for says krishna to arjuna why because you you should know atma as avikriya avyakta ayam achintya but then avikari this atma is avikari is never changing does not have any vikaras therefore shad vikaras are not possible and the grief is due to marana you think that these people are going to die these gurus and my bandhus and you know uh, the relatives all the relatives elders also are going to die that thinking is invalidated because atma will never die atma is avikari having known that evam vijitva enam na anusuchitum arhasi enam viditva enam atmanam viditva knowing this atma is avikriya there is no reason to grieve about it so it has gone by in the second chapter then further gune reva karmani kriyante so bhagwan bhashyakara is adding the verb to make the anvaya and make it clear prakrute kriyamanani gune karmani sarvashah ahankara yudatma kartaham iti manyate so guna guneshu vartante elsewhere but gunaihi sarvashah gunai karmani क्रियंते सेज भगवान भाष्य कर दे सो क्रियमाणा प्रकृति है क्रियमाणी प्रकृति इज वॉट प्रकृति इज त्रिगुणात्मिका माया देर फोर दिस कर्माज विचार डन बाय प्रकृति बाय प्रकृति गुणा प्रकृति है गुण ही सो यू कैन मेक दस प्रकृत है प्रकृति है गुण ही क्रियमाणा कर्माणी वेन सर्वशा ऑल द टाइम that is how it is karmas are being done by prakriti gunas however this foolish ahankara yudatma having ahankara ahankarena vimuda atma vimuda atma karta aham iti manyate so ahankarena ahankara hetuna vimuda atma meaning antakaranam yasya sahankara vimudatma this person who has his antakarana in delusion due to what due to ahankara that person dullard consider himself as as karta manyate na tu asti he is not karta at all but considers himself a karta therefore becomes a bhokta is forced to undergo bhoga but the atma is always avikriya is always kevala sharirasto pina karoti and this is a clincher if you say adishthanaadi vi sambhuya karoti eva atma no why because certain chapter we have seen bhagwan bhashyakara says this 31st shloka look that up sharirasto pina karoti even while being in that adishthana na karoti adishthanastha api na karoti anaditvat nirgunatvat paramat परमात्मा अव्यय शरीरस्थी कौंत न कौती न लिप्य सो इट इज नॉट समथिंग न्यू वी ऑलरेडी नो अबउट ऑल दिस सो केवल आत्मा इज अ री स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज समरी ऑफ ऑल चैप्टर्स नथिंग न्यू इज बीइंग डिस्कस हियर इट इज ऑल समड अप सो दैट देर इज अ क्रमा एंड देर इज अ कंक्लूजन ऑफ वॉट एवर टॉपिक वॉज सम वॉट ओपन सो भगवान कृष्ण इज गोण से इन दी एंड दट दिस इज ऑल दैट आई हैव गिव यू I have taught everything. Now, yatha yogyam tatha kuru, or yatha ichchasi tatha kuru, yathe ichchasi tatha kuru. So why is shari sharirastha pi sharirastha pi atma kimarthan na karoti kimartham karta na bhavati 
भुक्तानुभूति न लिप्यते बिकॉज वॉट अनादित्वात निर्गुणत्वात अयम अव्यय दिस अव्यय अविक्रियात्मा वाय बिकॉज निर्गुण डज नॉट हैव एनी गुणा गुणाज एक्ट बट विच गुणाज एक्ट प्रकृते गुण ही क्रियमाणा कर्माणी प्रकृते गुण ही प्रकृति हेज गुणाज दिस आत्मा डज नॉट हैव गुणाज निर्गुणत्वा गुणरहित्वा न करोती अनादित्वात ऑल्सो सो मोर आई मीन लॉर्ड ऑफ दिस वी हैव सीन ऑल दिस हैविंग नो कारण इत्यादि देर बाय इत्यादि असकृत उपादित गीता सुव तावत ऑल दीज आइडिया हैव बीन रिफ्यूटेड ऑफ कर्तृत्व भाव इत्यादि इन गीता शास्त्र इट से श्रुतिशिव चो श्रुति स्मृति एंड न्याय हेज बीन मेन्ट सो स्मृति हेज बीन डिस्कस हियर इट सेज गीता शास्त्र इज स्मृति वॉट अबाउट श्रुति एंड न्याय सो यू मेन्शन श्रुति ने श्रुति शिव च ध्यायती इव लीला इव इव हेज बीन मेन्शन इन बृहद मंत्र ध्यायती इव दिस ऑल्सो हेज बीन कोटेड मेनी टाइम्स बाय भगवान भाष्यकर इच्छे एवं आद्यासु so many places in the shruti it is discussed that as though meditative or as though having kriya but avikriyatma because eva is being said as though as though acting as though mimicking the kriya but not really having kriya nyayatascha and logically also how so yes niravayavam aparatantram avikriyam atmatattvam iti rajamarga ha it's a clear path rajamarga is a clear path in tarka what is clear you clearly seen niravayavam has no parts atma has no parts if there are no parts there is no possibility of association and thereby kriya not possible aparatantram aparatan see niravayava what has parts is jada chetana cannot have parts so niravayava therefore ajada chetana had it been jada then what would happen jada cannot do anything on its own it will need someone to drive the jada to move around so therefore paratantram paratantra means have, having dependency on others so jada has a dependency on other but this niravayava atma which is ajada is aparatantram has no dependency on others so kriya is not possible therefore avikriyam this is atmatattvam iti rajamarga ha vikriya vatvat vikriya vatva abhyupagame api atmana swakiya eva vikriya swasya bhavitum arhati na adishthanaadinam karmani atmakartrukani syuhu and then bhagwan bhashyakara takes a hypothesis so vikriya vatva abhyupagame api अभ्युपगम इज अभ्युपगम वादा वट इज अभ्युप दिस वादा इज अपोथिस सो इवन इफ यू सपोज सो लेट से यू आर राइट एजम्शन सो यू टेक एन एजम्शन एज अपोथिस एंड प्रूव इट एज रॉन्ग वाई बिकॉज इवन इफ यू से दैट विक्रियावत्व आत्मा हेज विक्रियावत्व मीनिंग क्रिया इज पॉसिबल atma can have kriya then even then its own kriya you have to look into atma kriya can accrue to atma now you see atma and anatma you have seen separately if atma has kriya it mean kriya is possible to be done by atma in that case also atmanah swakiya eva vikriya its own vikriya should be seen vikara so you can see vikara also anything that you are seeing it should be done by itself you cannot associate one's kriya to others so atma kriya you have to search for now and tell me what is the atma kriya here atma can have vikriyas can you show me vikriya of atma you have to show me vikriya of atma not the vikriya of anatma and superimpose or say that it is atma's vikriyas so if you look up also assuming under the assumption that atma can have vikriyas then you search for atma vikriya why do you superimpose or wrongly associate the vikriyas which are clearly seen in the adhisthana ityadi so this is the argument given there swai 
विक्रियाभ्युपगम आत्मन स्वकीया एव विक्रिया स्वस्य भवितु अर्हति मीनिंग इट्स ओन विक्रिया कैन कैन बी सीन एज इट्स विक्रिया नॉट समवन एल्स न अधिष्ठादीना कर्मा आत्मकर्तृका स्यु हवेवर दी कर्मास ऑफ अधिष्ठान शरीर इत्यादि शारीरिक कर्म मानसिक कर्म वाचिक कर्म ऑल दीज ऑल दीज कर्म विच आर गोइंग ऑन इन दी शरीर शरीर त्रया so to say sharira dwaya actually the subtle and the gross kriya which are being done by the clearly seen that it is happening in the mind it is happening in the body using the sense organs there is interaction with the vishaya all these karmas you can clearly see that they are in the bodies at least in the uh, gross body you can clearly see if you think a little further you can see the changes in the sukshma sharira also now those changes you cannot say that they belong to atma you have to search for atma vikriyas only natu adhisthanaadinam karmani atma kartrukani syuhu so vikriya van atma is your conclusion but show me the vikriyas if you show me any vikriya i will point out that it is there in adhisthana ityadi sura sharira or sukshma sharira then you cannot associate its atma at all nahi parasya why so nahi parasya karma parena akar akritam agantum arhati you cannot associate one's karma to another so anatma karmas stura sharira and sukshma sharira karmas cannot be said to be for the atma which is another which is separate because atma anatma bheda even the nayayika agrees there is except for charvaka who say the sharira itself stura sharira itself is atma and some some argue that the manas is atma but still most of the darshanas agree that there is a bheda between atma and anatma सूक्ष्म शरीर एंड स्थूल शरीर दैट बींग सो यू कैनॉट एसोसिएट वन सैक्शन विद दी अदर अदरवाइज वन जीवा विल बी दी करता अनदर जीवा कैन ऑल्सो बी दी भोक्ता दैट इज समथिंग दैट इज एक्सेप्टेबल टू नो वन देर फोर नही पर कर्म परेण अकृत आगंत अर्हति यू अविद्यया गमित न तत्त एंड इफ यू से दैट इट स्टील एपियर्स टू बी सो Jayati, Lelaati, but it is Eva. Jayati, Eva, Lelaati, Eva. That mimicking also, which you feel is going on, you feel that I am doing it. Atma here is I. Pratyeng Atma, Aham Karomi, Aham Dhyayami. There also, that apparent reality. is only apparent and the appearance is due to what it is due to avidya yattu avidyaya gamitam which is known as it is due to avidya na tat tasya in reality it is not belonging to atma at all so yattu avidyaya atmanah karma iti gamitam na tat karma tasya atmanah bhavitum arhati अविद्या अविद्या सो अविद्या अविद्या गमित ड्यू टू अविद्या यू थिंक दैट इट इज बीइंग डन बाय मी बट वॉट एवर इज एपियरिंग टू बी डन बाय द आत्मा मी द रियल सेल्फ बीइंग ड्यू टू अविद्या इट इज नॉट रियल सो इट इज नॉट रियली बीइंग डन बाय आत्मा देर anatma karma cannot be associated with atma karma even if atma can have karma so this is the hypothetical endless hypothetical acceptance of vikriya vatva of atma and then refuting it saying that even if it is possible it is the others karma you are still unable to show me atma karma an example is given 
how is it so avidya krutam what is the example there yatha rajatattvam na shuktikaya ha yatha va talamalinattvam balaihi gamitam avidyaya na akashasya tatha adishthanaadi vikriya api tesham eva na atmanah so examples are clear how the silver you see silver in a nacre in this shell this silver whatever silverness is there that silverness is not there in shuktika is not there in the shell yathava talamalinatvam balaihi gamitam akashe gamitam avidyaya na akashasya bhavati so the dome shape of the akasha or akasha being dirty dusty so there it's a dusty place you see this this place is dirty is dusty so that dust dirt or the dome shape that you see when you look upwards into the sky it does not belong to akasha at all akasha is never dusty or dirty and akasha cannot have space uh, shape at all but balaihi gamitam it is seen understood felt as being there by bal bala can be children also can be those who are not trained why avidyaya due to avidyaya न आकाश से भवती तथा अधिष्ठाना आदि विक्रिया अपि तेषाम एव तेषाम मीन्स अधिष्ठान विक्रिया इज अधिष्ठान इज विक्रिया शरीर विक्रिया इज शरीर विक्रिया स्थूल शरीर विक्रिया मनस विक्रिया इज मनस विक्रिया इट कैन नॉट बी आत्मन विक्रिया तस्मा युक्त उक्त देर फोर इट इज वेरी वेल एक्सप्लेन स्टेटेड वॉट अहंकृतत्व बुद्धिबिलिटी painting of buddhi vidwan na hanti na lip na nipadyate one who knows atma tattva that kind of vidwan does no kriya na hanti means karta na bhavati na nipadyate means bhokta na na bhavati because there is no lepa there is no possibility of karma accruing to jiva jivatma atma because even when being in the adishthana na karoti nayam hanti na hanyate iti pratijnaya na jayate ityadi hetu vachanena avikriyatvam atmana uktva veda vinashinam iti vidusha karma adhikar nivrittim shastrado sankshepatah uktva so what has been done by geeta acharya in the second chapter itself nayam hanti na hanyate so this is where it began yeyenam vetti hantaram yaschainam manyate hatam ubhautau na vijani to nayam hanti na hanyate so both both in, they need not be two separate people but then it is said both even if they are two separate people who considers atma as hanta meaning atma as the karta here hanana kriya is an example we have seen prathama balla nyaya and yascha enam atmanam hatam manyate one who considers atma as a subject or an object that's what it karta or karma vyakrana karma one who considers oneself as hanta and one who considers oneself as hatha ubhautau no vijanitaha both of them do not understand atma why because atma ayam atma na hanti ayam atma na hanyate is neither the killer nor the killed 
so is neither the karta nor the karma neither the subject nor the object iti pratijnaya this was the proposition made it's a pratijnya made by bhagwan and then it has to be established this is an opening statement it has to be proved and then pratijnya is elaborated further na jayate so there further na jayate mriyate va kadachit nayam bhutva bhavita vana bhuyah ajo nitya shashato yam purana na hanyate hanyamane sharire so further it is elaborated why because this atma does not have any kriya na jayate na mriyate means shadvikaras between janma and marana all are included kadachit never is it possible ayam bhutva bhavita vana bhuya so it is not that so atma was there in some period of time is there or will be there atma is ever there sad brahma sad brahmatma tirkala baditam sat so always there was there is there will be there that atma cannot have janma or marana thereby cannot have any vikaras in between also ajaha has no janma ajaha nitya shashvatah puranah purapi nava old but still remains as new never has any wear and tear also therefore na hanyate sharire hanyamane api na hanyate sharire hanyamane sati api na hanyate sharira dies but even when the sharira dies atma does not die she is not killed rather then ityadi hetu vachanena this was the hetu given for this pratijnya because tarka is a proposition followed by a hetu and then an example given to explain all that has been done and finally conclusion thereby ityadi hetu vachanena na jayate mriyate va kadachit all this is hetu that hetu shloka through that avikriyatvam atmanah uktva so avikriyatvat na ayam hanti na hanyate so this shloka here is what the it is leading to what avikriyat atma so avikriyatvat ayam atma na hanti na hanyate because as a karta also there has to be vikriya as a karma also it has to have vikriya so if we say atma hanti then atma will have vikriya but na jayate nam namriyate kadachit thereby vikriya is not possible ajaha nitya shashvata purana ityadi and if you say that no may not be a karta but karma no not possible na hanyate why because hanana kriya if it has to undergo the hanana kriya also karma as an object of hanana kriya there also vikriya is needed vikriya is not possible thereby ityadi hetu vachanena avikriyatvam atmana uktva having stated atma to have no vikaras avikriya atma veda vinashinam nityam veda vinashinam nityam yena majam avyayam katham sa purusha partha kam ghateti hantikam so we have seen this a couple of pathas back also this यह एनम आत्मानम इस अजम अव्यय आत्मानम अविनाशिनम नित्यम एड अविनाशिनम वेद सह पुरुषः हे पार्थ कथम कम घातयति एंड कम हंती हुम वुड दैट पर्सन हर्ट और कॉस्ट कॉज हर्ट ही कैन नीदर बी दी कर्ता नॉर दी हेतु कर्ता it's not possible because he knows that atma is avinashi and nitya aja and avyaya that was the conclusion so iti vidushah karmadikara nivruttim shastradu sankshepatha uktva so that particular topic not not concluded rather iti vidushah karmadikara nivruttim shastradu sankshepatha uktva briefly what was said is in the second chapter there 
in the 21st verse 1928 21 this makes an end, one set of tarka used there nyaya ki this is an opening statement this is a hetu and then this is a closing iti vidusha karmadikara nivruttim shastradau sankshepata uktva shastradau karmadikara nivruttim uktva sankshepata briefly what has been said this vidwan yah veda avinashinam enam अजम अव्यय आत्मा वेद स कथम हंती एंड घातयति एंड हंती सो दिस इज अ प्रथम मल्ल न्याय सो इट इज सेट दैट दिस विद्वान कैनॉट डू एनी कर्म कैनॉट एसोसिएट एनी कर्म विद दी आत्मा देर फोर इन दी कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ क्षत्रिय हूम वुड ही फाइट विथ हूम वुड ही यू नो हैव अ बैटल विथ द्वंद्व विथ whom would he win over whom would he cause to win over the others or hurt or kill others with that pratham malla nyaya it extends to all varnas all karmas and all their karmas thereby vidusha one who knows that is a vidwan so for that vidwan vidushaha shashti ek vachana tasya vidushaha karmadikar nivruttim uktva वेर शास्त्रादोविन शास्त्र इत्यादि ऑल दी वर्णाश्रम धार्मिक कर्मस अधार्मिक कर्मस इन एनीथिंग कर्म अधिकार इटसेल्फ इज नॉट देयर फॉर अ विद्वान सो कर्म अधिकार निवृत्ति मीनिंग वन हु डज नॉट हैव एन अधिकार इज नॉट अ विद्वान वन हु इज अ विद्वान सीजेस टू हैव अधिकार एनी मोर बिकॉज़ कारक अभिदास आर एंटरटेनड देयर you need to have kartrutva bhava to do any karma ragadveshaadi are to be looked into as the as the facilitators for karma that is the reason one wants to do any karma to get a result raga towards a result wanted or dvesha towards the result unwanted to take away some karma so long he had karma adhikara but now becoming a vidwan that karma itself is not possible for atma because atma is avikriya atma kriya is karma and since kriya is not possible atma is neither the karta nor the vyakrana karma neither the subject nor the object and other karaka bhedas are not possible there are no karakas at all advitiya brahma atma eva asti सह एव अहमस्म इन दैट केस वेर इज कर्म अधिकार पॉसिबल सो कर्म अधिकार विच वॉज देर अर्लियर नाउ इट इज देर फॉर दि विद्वान देर फोर कर्म अधिकार निवृत्ति संक्षेपत उत्वा कुत्र शास्त्रादो कर्म अधिकार निवृत्ति संक्षेपत उत्वा मध्य प्रसारिता त्र त्र प्रसंग then what has bhagwan krishna done he has taken an occasion across the chapters from second to this chapter 18 chapter madhye prasaritam elaborated having elaborated this same subject which has been established but then elaborated further sankshepata earlier briefly it was said in the 21st verse of the second chapter then it was elaborated thoroughly across all chapters मध्य प्रसारिता त्र त्र प्रसंग टेकिंग ओकेशन नाउ आई कैन टॉक अबाउट दिस एलॉबरेट दिस पर्टिक्युलर पॉइंट आई मेड इन सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ कोर्स आई मीन इट इज नॉट चैप्टर वाइज व्हेन ही टॉट इट इट वाज अ कंटिन्यूस फ्लो बट देन व्हेन वी लुक एट इट वी कैन सी देर आर सेपरेट चैप्टर्स देर वॉज अ पॉज एंड देन चैप्टर हैज बीन स्पॉन्ड आउट thereby having elaborated the same topic across various chapters ih upasamharati in the end he is concluding that's why it's a last chapter upasamharati why shastrartha pindi karanaya tadarte chaturthi for you know making it a lump and presenting meaning putting it all together summarizing the entire idea of the shastra gita shastra and other shastras also गीता बीइंग दी एसेंस ऑफ ऑल शास्त्रास विद्वान न हंती न निबद्ध्यते इति समराइजेस एज व्हाट 
विद्वान हत्वा अपी मान लोकान न हंती न निबद्य थे का सा विद्वान the same विद्वान who was there in the second chapter discuss in second chapter न हंती न हन्यते कब कथम कम घाते थी हंती कम all that is concluded here by using this हनन क्रिया itself as an example न हंती न निबद्य थे this is the conclusion here so so much you know water has flowed under the uh, has flowed under the bridge so much has gone by but the topic remains the same the undercurrent is the same that's what bhagwan bhashyakara is saying evancha sati that being so this vidwan does not have any any ridiculous idea that i am in the sharira i have to do this do that these are my sense organs this is my to be done duty this is a dharma to be followed this is an adharma to be sees from the he has no such ideas because he is not a karta anymore thereby evancha sati deha deha brutva abhimana anupapatto avidya krta shesha karma sanyaso upatte sanyasi nam anishtadi trividham karmana phalam na bhavati iti upapannam so what is the idea in the closing this vidwan withdraws from all the karmas because he has no karma adhikara he is a sanyasi vidwan he has no wrong notions of having association with the sharira i do something deha bhrutva abhimana anupapatto when so anupapatto satyam sati saptami so deha bhrutva abhimana anupapatti is there untenability of having abhimana what is abhimana tadatmya sambandha as what deha bhrut aham deha bhrut i hold this sharira i am in this sharira these ideas aren't there once you have taken a boundary you have become limited atma is ananta cannot have limitations of sharira ityadi sharira is mithya there is no possibility of anything other than atma existing so there is no individuality is po individuality possible therefore deha vrutva abhimana anupapatto avidya krita ashesha karma sanyaso upapatte he sanyasi nam for those kind of sanyasi vidwan avidya krita ashesha karma sanyasa san, what is this karma entire karma ashesha karma it is avidya krita avidya causes kama ityadi to manifest vasanas to manifest ragadvesha ityadi thereby karma thereby karma phala thereby association forced upon this bhokta who takes another janma and avidya doesn't go away continues to be a karta and this karta bhokta cycle keeps on going across janma marana it several janmas anadi kale अविद्या कृत अशेष कर्म सन्यास उपत्य देन ही दिस विद्वान ड्रॉप्स आउट ड्रॉप्स ऑल द कर्मस अशेष कर्म दिस इज सर्व कर्म सन्यास एंड सिंस दैट अशेष कर्म मीनिंग सर्व कर्म सन्यास इज पॉसिबल फॉर देम बिकॉज़ कर्मस आर अविद्या कृत दे ड्रॉप इट हैविंग ड्रॉप्ड इट सन्यासी नाम अनिष्टादि त्रिविधं कर्मण फलम न भवति the trividha karma phala has been shown anishta ishta and mishra so anishta would lead to chiriya adogati ishta will lead to devata ityadi sharira and mishra ishta anishta will lead to manushya janma those kind of three karma phala as what sharira karma phala is in the form of sharira itself this is the sharira for this kind of karma iti upapannam na bhavati iti upapannam so they won't get any other janma in any sharira any of the three types of karma phalas are not possible tad viparyayaccha itaresham bhavati iti etaccha apariharyam iti esha geeta geeta shastrartha upasamruta so what has been concluded here is that vidwan cannot have any of the three types of shariras cannot have any janma he is 
ನಿತ್ಯ ಮುಕ್ತ ಹಿ ನೋಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಮುಕ್ತ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ಜೀವನ್ ಏವ ಮುಕ್ತ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಜನ್ಮ ದಿಸ್ ಜನ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫೇಡೆಡ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಪಾರ್ಮಾರ್ಥಿಕ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ತದ್ ವಿಪರ್ಯಯ ಆಚ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಅಪೋಸ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಧಿಷ್ಠಾನ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ದೇ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದೇಹ ಭೃತ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದೇಹ ಭೃತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದೇಹ ಭೃತ್ ದೇಹ ಭೃತ್ವ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಅವಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾಕೃತ ಅಶೇಷ ಕರ್ಮ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಅನಿಷ್ಠಾದಿ ತ್ರಿವಿಧ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತದ್ವಿಪರ್ಯಾಚ ಇತರೇಷಾಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಭವತಿ ಇತಿ ಏತಚ್ಚ ಕಿಂ ಭವತಿ ತ್ರಿವಿಧ ಕರ್ಮಣ ಫಲಂ ಭವತಿ ತೇಷಾಂ ಇತಿ ಏತಚ್ಚ ಅಪರಿಹಾರ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ಅವಾಯ್ಡಬಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಕರ್ತೃತ್ವ ಭಾವ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಕರ್ಮ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಅನಿಷ್ಠಾದಿ ತ್ರಿವಿಧ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ಲಿ ಕೀಪ್ ಆನ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಆಲ್ ಸಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜನ್ಮಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶರೀರಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪರಿಹಾರ್ಯ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಪರಿಹಾರ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಔಷಧ ಪರಿಹಾರ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಸ್ ಇ ಪರಿಹಾರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವ್ಯತಿರಿಕ್ತ ಅಪರಿಹಾರ್ಯ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅದರ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಇತಿ ಏಷ ಗೀತಾ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾರ್ಥ ಉಪಸಂವೃತ ಸೊ ಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದಿ ಫಲ ಇಸ್ ಅಪರಿಹಾರ್ಯ ಸ ಏಷ ಸರ್ವೇದಾರ್ಥ ಸಾರ ನಿಪುಣಮತಿ ಪಂಡಿತ ವಿಚಾರ್ಯ ಪ್ರತಿಪತ್ತವ್ಯ ಇತಿ ತತ್ರ ತತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ವಿಭಾಗಿನ ದರ್ಶಿತ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ನ್ಯಾಯಾನುಸಾರೇಣ ತೇರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕರ ಸ ಏಷ ಸರ್ವೇದಾರ್ಥ ಸಾರ ದಿಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಗೀತಾ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾರ್ಥ ಈಸ್ ವೇದ್ ಸರ್ವ ವೇದಾರ್ಥ ಸಾರ ಇಟ್ ದಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ವೇದಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ವೇದಾಸ್ ಗೀತಾ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸರ್ವ ವೇದಾರ್ಥ ಸಾರ ಗೀತಾ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾರ್ಥ ನಿಪುಣಮತಿ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ನೋ ಶಾರ್ಪ್ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ದೆಮ್ who are panditas not only in intellect it is trained in the shastra so panda yesham asti te panditaha taihi panditaihi vicharya so panda is jnana that viveka is there shastra jnana is there thereby panditaihi vicharya having inquired into it having done manana ityadi pratipattavya it should be understood and held on iti tatra tatra prakarana vibhagena darshitaha so across sections bhagwan bhashyakara says it has been elaborated by us in commentaries across sections with nanu nacha naisha dosha ityadi vakyas it has been elaborated by us asmabihi how in keeping with shastra and nyaya so it is in place all our explanation given all the doubts countered taken you know up front and in the, they are faced all the doubts have been faced by us and resolved in keeping with the shastra and nyaya that is the 17th verse there atha idanim karmanam pravartakam uchyate what is it that prods a person to act then obviously the underlying avidya avidya does not prod really avidya avidya continues lets the prodding and the actions continue it does the there is an avarna and there is a vikshepa avidya just does that then what is happening in between between janma and marana that is all avidya karya all right but then in in inquiring into these what are the real factors which lead to karma so atha idanim thereafter now karma nam pravartaka muchyate what is the pravartaka what is that which pushes a person person to act what are these factors jnanam niyam parijnata trividha karma chodana ಕರ್ಣ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ತೇತಿ ತ್ರಿವಿಧ ಕರ್ಮ ಸಂಗ್ರಹ 
ஸ்வானம் ஜேயம் பரிஜாதா ஜானம் தி நோன் object of knowledge not known object of knowledge gnanam is object of knowledge uh, sorry uh, is knowledge neyam is object of knowledge so there are three divisions then basically triputi is being discussed here nothing else but triputi but tripudi is divided into three uh, into separate triads how so actually karana karma and karta is a triputi what is being said here he is gnanam neyam and parijnata these these are trividha karma chodana karma chodana is another word for karma nam pravartakam karma pravartaka what is it that prods a person to act so there are three factors i want to know parijnata so wanting to know so you can look at this as because nya word has been used here wanting to know i want to become a knower of something that is a wanting to know there there is a desire within so it shows ichha kama with sitting within which avidya lets one 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 soon vasanas manifest avidya lets it manifest further and continue in one's journey in samsara so parijnata there is a hidden desire to know when i consider myself as a knower i know how things are to be done how so because there is some object to be known i want to know that object therefore i consider myself as a knower a seeker of knowledge which knowledge something which is to be known which is desirable basically so an object and thereby there is a gnana means so this is gnana is karana nyaya is karma and this fellow parijnata i am karta these are the three ideas actually trividha karma chodana these are the ones which make me act so assume this you know in karma kanda there is a discussion of let's say swarga so that swarga is nyaya swarga is to be known now i know swarga is elaborated in the shastra this is how it is lot of sukha ityadi then nyaya is swarga now i the parijnata know this that swarga does exist shastra talks about it i have shraddha i am parijnata i completely understand what this swarga is all about then how do i get bridge myself how do i jump from here to there so that gnana helps me understand so it helps me understand this nay also swarga vedas help me understand get knowledge so there is a knowledge which bridges the gap between my being here and this nyaya vastu i want to jump there so it gives me a marga also so it it reveals knowledge is that which helps me become parijnata complete knower of this nyaya swarga not only do i know this swarga now i know the means to swarga so this triad will force me because there is a desire which has prompted me to towards that knowledge also that i need to steer swarga as a goal how did it become a goal because there is purva samskara i or i am seeking sukha then somehow i come across this knowledge that oh sukha there can be more sukha in swarga now that i know it i cannot hold myself back these start pushing me do i know that swarga exists yes so do i have knowledge of how to reach swarga jnana also yes i have that so this triad forces me trividha karma chodana it forces me become pravartaka for me to really become a karta what kind of karta karta of agnihotra adi karma so karma is agnihotra adi they are revealed in the nyaya here and jnana therefore i search for karna i use whatever it takes to do this karma as tools and thereby become the karta why because there is a desire to become a bhokta of swarga phala so these are my this is the triad trividha karma sangraha this is a karma sangraha we'll see what sangraha means in the bhashya in the next part huh? but it's a karma samuha which is which will this is you know this is like a basket 
basket in the sense what do i really need so i want to go on a picnic what do i need so i pack your bag i need to you know uh, whatever you know climb up the hills so i need some kind of i have to become some kind of a mountaineer karta so all this i'll have to put put in the basket there i have to pack my bags so th this is the trivida karma sangraha based on what kind of karma i am doing that kind of karta i have to become i have to do that kind of karma using those tools very karanas so these three are my you know go to bag and that is a karma sangraha this is how i get prodded into action and i act it out and then forced to remain in samsara this is the 18th verse we look at the bhashya in the next part narayana parovyakta andam avyakta sambhavam andasya antastume loka saptad dvipa ch medini all this has come up earlier but then in a little different set of words it is being put together in the end any questions Okay. I'll see you in the next part. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.